Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name's Jade, and this is How to App on iOS. And today, we're going to be opening up GarageBand, because finally, there's some brush drummers. But first, I'm going to open up with something that was sent to me last night. It's a song by Night Train 1988. It's an actual cover of one of my songs. I'm pretty blown away. I'm pretty flattered. I'm pretty all of that. Let's hear it. This is Freak by Night Train 1988. Just be my 
Wow. <laughs> you can uh, say that I was blown away, to say the least. Thank you so very much, Night Train 1988, for... Uh, um, covering my my song dread circus song freak i was absolutely blown away that he would do that for me i, I know he reached out and said he wanted to do us one of my songs and i was like yeah of course i'll go for it uh he did a fantastic job i'm absolutely honored and blown away yes uh that kim that was uh freak by night train 1988 he only just finished that and uh, sent it to me. I was supposed to play a Joe and Barry Glenn song today, so thank you, Joe and Barry Glenn. I reached out and said, I'll, I'll open next week with your track. Thank you for understanding. I just got that sent to me. and was like, oh, I really want to play that. Um, thank you, Night Train. Night Train's just awesome. He's just a, a, an amazing human being, and I'm stoked that he had the balls. <laughs> Man. <laughs> yeah, that, of course, Russ. <laughs> had the balls to do it man <laughs> nice one oh, i was really flattered hey uh, welcome to the show this is how to app on ios uh where every day we take a look at apps recording music making video interviews with amazing artists creators and sometimes there's a live performance thrown in or two. And my name is Jade. And uh, you can uh, join the Awards Facebook group if you so desire, which can be found amazingly right there at uh, We All Rise Together on Facebook. Also, you are watching this if you're on YouTube at youtube.com slash Jade Star. So please hit the like. You can share if you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, the show is telecast daily over at the Twitch at twitch.tv slash howtoapp on iOS. And you can always become a patron at the Patreon at patreon.com slash jadestar, where each weekend I master your music and starting from uh, January 2022, we'll be doing seminars and such on uh, music creation, all manner of things. So it's going to get... Heaps more exciting over on the Patreon for 2022. Let's say hello to folks in the chat, and then we get to dive into some Garage Band today. Uh, hello, Joe Glenn. Thank you once again for allowing me to move your song to next week. I hate bumping stuff. Um, I had a plan to go uh, today all through this week, and um, my self-centered conceitedness broke through to hear my own music sung by somebody else. So thank you very much for understanding you guys rock. Hello, SM Borthwick. Hello, Greg Rio Sullivan. Hello, Dave Fox. Hello, Thomas Christ, as always. The ever-reliable Thomas Christ, the silent assassin, as we call him. Um, uh, Auntie G, hello to you. I hope you're doing well. And uh, who else is here? Mark Bro, good to see you, my friend. Sai, it's always effing good to see you. I seem to see you many times a day. Also, I can see here, let's see. Doctor's Orders. Good to see you, Doctor's Orders. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Kim Harden Hudson, of course. Roadies Jam Cave. Russ8889 says he's a little bit busy at the moment, but hello to one and all. Uh, we totally understand that. Hello, hello to Liz. Love you, Liz. Um, hello, Gary Hubs. Holy moly. Holy moly. Guacamole. Uh, have I missed anyone else? I think I've got you all. There's a scroll. Sean Chandler. I hope you're doing okay, my friend. Lots of love to you and the Chandler family, as always. There's a big outpouring yesterday uh, for the Chandlers. It was amazing stuff, man. Amazing stuff. This community, across all the, the channels, yeah? Big time. Amazing stuff. Blows me away every single day. Um... Hi, uh, where else have I missed? Have I missed anyone else? I think I've got everybody. X, hello to you. Hello to Peter Johns. Peter, I said Peter, sorry. Pete Johns. Good to see you, Pete. Um, let's see. I might cover a couple of things since though Pete's here. Just uh, have a, a quick word about some changes that are coming up for next week. In in the meantime, I think I have I got everybody. I hate missing people. Hello, Peter. Peter, how are you going? Kevin Helmer. What's going on? All right. Well, we have a really big interview happening this uh, week. Tomorrow, in fact. Really big interview. Really excited about it. Hi, Deep Gravity. 
got a big, big interview with uh, one of my favorite artists. Um, she's absolutely amazing. You guys are going to love her if you don't know anything about her. Um, I made this trailer yesterday for the show. Um, if I can bring it up. Let's see. Can I bring it up? Can I? Can I do it? I can do it. Yes. I've got no photos available. Let's have a look at this, shall we? Oh, <laughs> nice one, Photos app. So that is tomorrow, Nikki Tedesco on the show. She's awesome. She's an amazing bass player. She's an amazing artist, and she's on the show tomorrow. And I'm going to have my hands full because she is a right 12-speed gearbox. It is going to be awesome. I can't wait. Uh, so make sure you join us for that tomorrow. Uh, she is a badass indeed. And um, yeah, I'm sure she's going to want to take over the show. This is what's going to happen tomorrow. There's going to be two control freaks trying to <laughs> do a show. It's going to be a mess. I can just say it. Hello, Mr. Back from Doing Time. So that's happening uh, tomorrow. I can't wait for that. Also, need to let you know. So in the weeks, the next two weeks ahead, there's some changes. So if you're a, a YML supporter, which I know all of you are, you watch uh, Pete John's YML, that show is normally in Australia on Saturday morning. And for you guys, in uh, living in the past, it w it's normally in uh, on a Friday evening or Friday afternoon. That will be changing for the next two weeks. Pete will be bringing forward YML one day exactly. So the YML will be on Thursday for those of you living in the US and the UK. And Friday... Uh, for those of us in Australia, and I will be taking the YML slot. So that means there will be no interview next week. Instead of an interview, you'll be getting the Gladys Worthington Christmas Spectacular on New uh, Christmas Eve for all of you in the US and the UK. It'll be a special Gladys Worthington Christmas special with lots of Christmas songs, eggnog, a Christmas tree, and uh, it's going to be a mess. So if you're uh, not doing anything on Christmas Eve and you want to laugh your tits off, come and join me for the day later than normal, no interview. And then the following week for New Year's, again, Pete will be doing YML a day earlier and I'll be doing my interview in the spot of YML and I'll be interviewing, finally, Kev Hart. So that's going to be New Year's Eve. Kev Hart on the show and it's going to be bonkers because when me and Kev are together yeah it's going to be funny because <laughs> if you haven't met Kev before you've only heard his music he is one of the funniest people I know he is utterly hilarious and he likes to swear so it's going to be a big one uh yeah hello Rick Lisk I hope you're doing well so that's just some updates of what's been happening and what is coming up and all of that jazz. Let's have a look at any price drops today before we jump into stuff. Digi keys from Four Pockets. $8.99 down to $5.99. And it looks like all of the Nembrini apps have dropped to about half price. I'm not sure how long, but I'm guessing this is the beginning of the Christmas sales. So as you can see here, all of the Nembrini apps are on sale. And next week also, I'll be having a look at <coughs> the <coughs> free Nembrini uh, live rig. I just haven't had a chance to do it because there's been so many other apps. Um, I've, I've had the, the actual f the thumbnail ready to go for the last week, but uh, yeah, it hasn't happened. But what that is, is you can put all your Nembrini apps in one locker, in one like pedal board, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, you can't use it as an AUV3, but that is the deal. Uh, thank you, Mark Bro, for that. Uh, all the Fab Filter stuff is on sale, and uh, up until the 5th of January, all of the Eventide apps are still on sale as well. But I'm sure you're going to see a whole lot more of this stuff. And next week, also on the show, will be my chance to look at a whole bunch of um, uh, apps that are worth your money again. Didn't we just do that? Didn't we just do that, like, a, not even a month ago? 
<laughs> but yeah, that's coming around again. And then uh, at the end of the year, we're going through all the best apps of the year, in my opinion, and stuff. So good shit. All right, before we jump into GarageBand, I want to let you know today's show is sponsored by My Gear Guide because I'm going to be using one of my pieces of gear in today's show. I'm going to show you how easy it is for me to hook up my Alesis Nitro Mesh to GarageBand to play some drums with the brand new brushes. Yes, awesome stuff. So uh, this is the drum kit I prefer, and there it is over here. Oops, there it is. It's over there. Look at that. There's my drum kit over in the corner, waiting for me to jump on and make a dick of myself at 8 a.m. in the morning because I can't really play too loud. So that is my drums. Let me put my hand over here so you get a sense of perspective. <laughs> Good shit. So there's lots of stuff on my gear guide. If you would like to go through it, buy something, all things are uh, linked to Amazon affiliate links. And if you buy something, they break off that much and they give some to me alrighty let's talk about uh, this garage band update because it was a bit of a surprise yesterday I was like what the hell there's some new drums are you kidding me I was hoping to maybe get some guitars maybe but no drums all right we'll take that we'll take it you got to take what you can get when Apple give you stuff like this so let's open up garage band shall we indeed he do um, why are you not changing camera? There we go. There's the full screen. Good stuff. Um, let's open a new project. I probably need some uh, waiting music because for some reason my garage band is super slow when I open up a brand new project. So we are going to open up uh, acoustic drums here. And what should we do for... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, while well, we're waiting for the drum kit. Uh, yeah, waiting for it to load. Uh, uh, yeah, spinning wheel of death. Spinning wheel of death. Spinning wheel of death. Uh, yeah, garage band is so slow. Baby, baby, one more time. Baby, baby, one more time. For fuck's sake, open up. Why are you so fucking slow? Fucking slow, fucking slow, fucking slow, fucking slow, fucking slow, fucking slow, fucking slow. Oh, there you go. Okay, it's a hit. I know, <laughs> Rick, it's an absolute hit. So here's our drum kit. I could bake a potato waiting on that, I know. It's terrible stuff. All right, so here we are at our, the famous uh, drum kit that we're all, we've all grown to love. So yeah, yesterday I uh, finished my show and then saw a little number one above and was like, what's that? What is this madness? And number one, are they giving us free stuff again? Hmm, let's have a look. I, I haven't even downloaded it yet because I wanted to show you the process, even though most people know how to do it. So let's hit the plus. Let's go over here and do this thing. Sound library. See, the one's gone now because here it is. There it is. Look at this. Brush drums. Now, how long have we been waiting for this? Just, <laughs> is it going to be worth it? I hope so. What I really wanted, what I really, really want, what I really, really want, what I want, I want it now. I want it now. I wanted a choke symbol. That's what I wanted more than anything. Apple, please, can you give us a choke crash? A choke symbol, man. Just a choke. Ah, oh, for the death metal heads out there. So we've got a preview button. Let's do it. Preview. Oh, baby. Baby, baby. Ooh, I got myself a brush drummer's back for free. Oh, I can't believe it's finally Brush drummer. I've heard this song somewhere before. Where have I heard this from? Somewhere. 
Ah, we do the monster mash. Anyway, good stuff. So what we need to do is uh, hit the get button and uh, let's download this sucker. It's not big. It has two. It has some content. Two uh, brush drummers. Austin. So we're going to get to know Austin quite well. And Terrell. Uh, Austin's a roots brush player and Terrell is a pop brush player. So uh, I hope they're good looking. They're good looking. And uh, we get two brush kits, Blue Ridge and Speakeasy. They're the two kits. And 26 drummer loops. That's really nice. Um, all right. So 64 megabytes. There you go. So it's about the size of a Swarm app. That's pretty cool. Um, and we're downloaded. We're good to go. That means, I guess. Yeah, it says downloaded. All my packs are here. Good stuff. So now I should be able to jump out of this. Oh, no. Oh no! <laughs> it could close my project so look what it's done. Why does it do that if you've if you've loaded nothing in? Now I have to wait for it to reload again. Garage Ben, why I order I order take you out of the back and pull your pants down and smack you. Uh, there you go. No matter how long you've been using GarageBand, you never learn. You still hit the back button and you end up out of a project and have to start all over again. Isn't that good? Spinning wheel of doom. <laughs> oh, GarageBand. Oh, you and your, you and your silliness. Uh, so how's the weather, everybody? <laughs> more, Rick wants more scat. That sounded so wrong. So we should be able to go in here now and choose recently downloaded. Um, where are our drummers? There's our drummers. So we've got this Blue Ridge kit. Oh, look, it's a nice looking kit. It's nice. I reckon this is one of the best looking kits. Just the colors on everything. Oh. Nice. Let's see what the other one sounds like. That's got a very deep kick. Like immediately impressed like compared to something like soft drummer the sounds are really beautiful in soft drummer it sounds okay i guess interesting all right so let's have a look at the auto drummers shall we and see what they've got to play for us what have they got so who are they austin and Terrell, there they are. So here's Austin. Austin likes roots. He's into roots. If you're Australian, that's a very uh, that's got a different meaning than most, what most people would think. So let's hear what Austin's got to play. He's got a beard. So it seems he plays choo choo music. Give him some fills. birthday to a bear's daughter who's in the chat. Did I say hi to bear? I don't think I did. Hi bear.
So variations with the symbols. I'm just creating some variations here. Let's give it some toms. Let's take it right down to simple. Cool, let's bring him right down. So some interesting stuff in there. It is a boomy kick, isn't it? It's a very boomy kick. Uh, if an AI plays soft, can you increase the volume using compression or gain? Yeah, of course you can. Because you've got all your controls in here. See? If you give it like 6 dB there, large. Take that right down the corner. really boomy bass isn't it look there's already there's already a look at all that taken out already all that low that's cool you can take out a lot of that boominess. The problem is, too, is because um, the the thing you want to do really, if you if you want to do that, you want to separate all your tracks and and. Um, when you're compressing a whole kit all together, that's when you walk into trouble because compressing a symbol as well as everything else, that's when you're going to get the compression working over the top and, and you know, uh, you're going to get a whole lot of the, the pumping and stuff like that because there's so many parts to a drum kit that are being compressed and that's when you, you get all that kind of stuff happening. So that's what you've got to be careful of if you're adding in compression in, into a full kit. If you get what I'm saying. So that's Austin. Austin also, as usual, has all of these added things. Like, you know, there's all these presets in here. Uh, which are pretty much all the things I just went through. Okay, so let's have a listen to uh, Austin's boyfriend, Terrell. There's Terrell, another fine beard. 
So the beard boys are the brushes, the, the beard brush boys, we'll call them. I don't know why. Um, this is Terrell. Let's crank up his um, fills. Look, it's really nice to have uh, these wonderful uh, brushes. And I think where I'm going to use the most, and you may use them in a different way. But to have a whole bunch of different um, cymbal uh, crash hits. And if you've seen my other videos, I like to record drums with a drum kit or tapping things in and then splitting my drums up into individual tracks and having some extra cymbals that aren't, aren't being struck so hard is really nice, especially uh, when I've done some songs with Pete Johns before and the songs have ended with a more mellow kind of ending. What, what song was it? Uh, I can't remember the song where I was just kind of hitting the, the cymbals out and didn't want them to be big crash hits. This is going to be really handy for that, having a lighter crash hit. So if you're, you're or the beginning of a mellow song, having those lighter crash hits is going to be really good. Um, the kicks, I don't know about the kicks. I probably won't use them so much, but it's good having the snares as well. I'm guessing you can, if I load up my keyboard, we'll have a play with those in a minute, get some really good military stuffs, some really good uh, military banging on there using the, uh, the, the lighter brushes. Let's speed him up a bit. I like the hi-hats. The snapping hi-hats on this are really nice in this kit. Let's hear the, the uh, cymbals. What do you mean, when you're old and shitting yourself, Russ? Didn't it, didn't that happen to you yesterday on Clubhouse? Whoops. That's nice. That that um, ride's really nice. Da, 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 da. We needed a bit of a jazz hi hat in there. Now remember, folks, what's really cool about uh, these drums, you can at any time remove all this stuff. And if you're you're building a kit and you only say you wanted the cymbals from here, you can do that, remember? And then you can load a kit. See, take out these fills. Now that the fills are gone, all you've got is this. So then you could load up this kit here. So if you're not experienced at doing drums, I've covered this in other videos before, you can uh, record your kicks and snares, and then if you're still having trouble like actually writing hi-hat parts, just go in and use the drummer and just use the hi-hat parts until you learn how to get, how to actually make them and get these riding hi-hats with snapping and closing because it's there's a bit of an art to it. Clearly, you know, you're using... Um, velocities and stuff to do that so you can do this in uh let's bring everything back in maybe there it is wow that's really low let's bring the fills back in how cool is that so you know when you see some band sometimes and the, and the drummer's playing with brushes and he's running the brush 
along the skin of the snare, going shh, 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 shh. getting that uh, that rattle going on. That's what's happening here. That's really cool. When you so when you bring this down, notice this. So we've got a snare hits here, but check this out. Let's take out everything, just the snare. Listen to that. Yeah, stir in the soup. That's really clever. I really love that Apple's added that in. Hello, Brad. How's the foot? Terrible. And when you add a little bit of loudness to it you're getting some hits as well as the stirs that's really nice very very nice uh attention there apple has put to that why am i not surprised Very cool. Looks like it's... So when you've got your fills turned up... Let's see if it changes when I change the kick and snare. Looks like it's in there all the time. Oh, it's stopping there. Good to know. Awesome stuff. So look, they sound really good. Again, you got all your custom stuff in here. Last dance. I'm guessing that's like a. I don't think I've got any examples of uh, full drums I can uh, show you. But uh, let's do this as well. Let's uh, hit a plus and. I don't want to do that. What do I want to do? I want to go uh, with our drummer here. Uh, what do we want to do? We want to do... Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's delete this channel. Delete. So... Um, what I might do is, let's open this up. Um, what do I want to do? I'm actually having a blank of what I want to do next. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, let's, let's just add a track. We'll add these drums here. We'll go in and change this. We'll do some live loops. Can I do that? Can I do live loops here? Is this where you do it? I, I never I never use live loops. Isn't that terrible? Um, is this where you find them? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I've never used live loops in my life. <laughs> I, I'm I'm guessing they're in here. The the uh, maybe they're not. I have no idea. I'm just gonna leave that because I don't, I really don't care. If you use live loops, good luck to you. I don't. So. <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in, um, well, I'm going to turn on my drum kit. Let's do that. I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up a drum kit and actually play along to some stuff. So if I set my camera over here, my drum kit's not connected at the moment. And all I have to do is go over and turn it on. So it's connected via USB. 
Um, all I have to do is uh, we'll, we'll come back and look at those those loops. I'll do that last. So back here, I have a USB 8 hub back here and my drum kit is plugged in over here via USB. So that's all I've got connected. And over here where my drum kit is, all I have to do is go over and turn it on. La 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 la. We can turn it on. So that is now on and I really just should be able to go bang and we have instantly connected there's nothing you need to do that's special to actually connect to this Alesis drum kit which is why I bought it because I knew it just off the bat it automatically connects and aligns to all of the the uh, drums here on GarageBand so um, let's choose one of these new kits Look at those up close hair noodles. See, I know. Dirty, stinky dreadlocks, man. That's me. <laughs> Brush drummers. I might click this speak easy one because I like the flubby toms. These are the flubby toms. Can I do both screens? I think I can. There you go. There's both screens. So you get to see the... So you get to see both. Let me take my vape. Yeah, Flubby. That's my name for you, Audible Video. See if I can take my mic over here with me. I think I can. Let's see. I think I can. Boom. Boom. Radio. Does that get in the way? My headphones may get in the way. There's not much room in this studio. So everything's kind of crammed. Okay, good stuff. What I should do is maybe point my mic. You're going to hear. So I'll do that actually. I'll turn off the mic so you're not picking up the clicks of the drums. This is so organized.
So, super easy to connect them. Let me bring my mic back. Oh man, I hardly did anything, I'm nearly dying. So super easy to connect, really easy. That's not jazz. <laughs> um, what I'm gonna do is, because I wanna hear them with some music. Do I have some music? I think I do. Uh, is this it? Yeah. Oh. I like the Blue Ridge one. <laughs> Most of us sound like that's standing up. Yeah, that's me. So I've got a bit of blues here. Let's turn down this mic, have a jam.
good fun. <sighs> Don't do that at eight in the morning, folks, when you've just fallen out of bed. <laughs> and the poor neighbour's sitting there going, I fucking hate your guts. I wish you were dead. I can hear him yelling through the wall, I wish you were dead. <laughs> So look, these kits are pretty cool, man. Really nice stuff. I think they're ace. What can you say? They're free. That's the most important thing. They're free. And that is all that matters. And you're going to be able to do some really cool stuff, I think, with uh, drum parts that you already have set. Do I have any here that I can actually do? If I uh, close out of this quickly for the last thing, man, whew. if I do a search for drums, drums, do I have any drum test things in here I can fuck around with? Let's maybe open up a fence sitter. We'll do a duplicate of this fence sitter track that I did for Pete Johns. Um, FAC chorus. Oh my God. Can you believe it? All my interrupt audios have been uh, they've gone. Good job, Garage Band. Okay, so we can now go in here and take these snare hits. We can change these out. change out the kick sometimes it's dead and dead eyes. can't even remember the words when you're just too tired to fight but I'm a fan sitter sometimes I like to keep my thoughts to myself it's easier Facing up to the conflict And I know something Let's go into these brushes And we'll change these kicks to some flubs Are they toms? Listen to this Dun -dun -dun. So I'm just changing out all these drums now We'll turn this down a bit, sorry So we'll change out all these uh, drums So these are the rides. So I'm just mixing up the uh, the brush kits. Hey, thank you, I have an idea. Thank you for the kind super chat, you rock. And these are crashes here, so we'll change this one out to... Uh, so you're yeah, much more subtle crashes which is good and then in th I have different crashes for this so we'll change this one to the other kit so this is the brush drummers blue ridge and we'll change out the hats to the blue ridge all right so let's have a listen to this now with an entire, entirely different kit. Okay. Do this. Let's let's close out the show, shall we? We'll uh, open this up. See if I can do this right. We'll open this. Let's do a search for uh, uh, Pete's lyrics, and I'll sing us out with one of Pete's songs. Yeah, what do you think? We'll go out today. 
by using this new drum kit on Pete's song. And I'll try and sing the words. This. Uh, what is this song called? Fence Sitter. Yeah. I'm a fence sitter. Sometimes I like to sit on a fence by myself. It's painful, especially when you're not wearing trousers. They're not the lyrics. What's going on? <laughs> oh, sorry, Pete, if you're still here. He's not. <laughs> All right. So, thanks for joining me today. Remember tomorrow's interview with Nikki Tedesco. Same bat time, same bat channel. It's going to be really fun. Make sure you're here for it. Uh, it's going to be really cool. And uh, it's... Yeah, she's going to be a firecracker and a half. So this is uh, using the using the new brushes um, over my original drum takes on Pete's song Fence Sitter. Let's see if we can do this thing. Cool. <coughs> I'll see you tomorrow. have a lot of thoughts But I may not say a lot of them I let the words come out Every now and then I think a lot of things Many others disagree with You won't even know Unless you choose to ask Sometimes it's easier to fly When you're just too tired to fly I'm a fence sitter Sometimes I like to keep my thoughts to myself It's easier than facing up to the conflict and I know that not everyone's this way It's how I get through the day Fence You might think I'm weak that I should just express myself But it's not black and white All of the time I should pick a side And go all in on one direction But I don't think that's right For me anyway Sometimes I try to close my mind But there's always another side I'm a fan sitter Sometimes I like to keep my thoughts to myself It's easier than facing up to the conflict and I know that not everyone's this way It's how I get through the day Fence-sitter And I don't expect you to be the same But I'm asking you to refrain Making me feel how good are those new lighter symbols beautiful stuff beautiful stuff really made a difference hey guys thanks for being here thanks for pete for writing such a good song thank you night train 1988 for opening the show with a cover of one of my tracks and uh, thank you all for being here and if you're watching on the replay as well i'll see you tomorrow for an interview with nikki tedesco it's gonna be awesome stuff do the things that make you happy, mistakes make you better. Remember, we all rise together. Boom.
Oh, yeah. Thomas Christ is on in one hour's time for you, Rock. There's the link. Click it. Or the cat gets it. <laughs>